Papish. First things first. Congratulations on a third place finish. I think most champs of the night. Could be. I'm not sure. Uh, and and I, at a few. what were your champs? You had champs at 50, 45, 45, 70, and 95. So, and then two of them, you had two back to back. Are those guys brothers? Yes. Yeah. Ethan and Evan. One's a senior, one's a sophomore. They wrestle a great counter wrestling. I mean, they're, they got these like bodies that are built for counter wrestling. Oh, they? yeah. They love, they love the funk. They love the scramble. They start rolling around and it's a lot of fun it makes me tired watching them. yeah <laughs> like i'm like i don't want to shoot in on these guys yeah they got good funk um and then you know you don't have fishback dylan dylan fishback your state runner up for you last year and you know you got a good shot at a lot of the graham guys whether you wrestled them or not you got to see them a lot right yeah yeah when you look at those matchups the 145 was first off my favorite match of the night even though 160 was a bananas match yeah 145 was a great matchup it's huge you know that was uh it was a big one. Martin's a state champ. David's a two-time runner-up, and I mean, they're both studs. So that was, that was awesome. Your guy, what he did is he really tuckered Martin out because Martin was in on six deep shots, yeah. five or six, like super yeah. deep shots. And your guy never gave up. You never turned down. No, he kept fighting with his hips, fighting with his hips, and uh, I think it wore on Martin a little. He, bit. Oh, he broke him. Yeah, I don't think he. No, he did. I mean, yeah. there's no question. You know, you know, I talked to Coach McIntosh and. We got to finish, is what he says, yeah, right? Yeah. And your guy has to continue to meet and contest. Yeah, you know, I thought he could have got a couple more takedowns in the short offense. He kind of just was content blocking. Where I think, you know, next time we got to score them points because they're going to come ready. It's Graham. They they know when it's time to show up, and we got to be there. Huge disadvantage coming out of the Northeast District. You know, I was talking to Loglin at uh, Louisville. You guys are at a horrible disadvantage coming out of your district. It's going to be you, Lake Catholic, Louisville, yeah. St. V. Um, I don't know, pick some other schools Canfield. that you want to. Canfield. that are going to be beating each other up, right? Yeah. And there's only four spots at each weight. What do you guys got to do to maximize the amount of state qualifiers and scores at the state tournament? You know, um, this year, one new thing to our program is we're doing the mindset training with Mike Moore. And, you know, we're really believing everything he says. We're only going to worry about things we can control in 15 seconds at a time and we do that and focus on the process, good things are going to come. Why were we sitting guys today? Why would, why didn't we see people? Are we going to see them for the state duels? Yeah, and they'll be here for the state duels. It's a little bit of flu season right now at Aurora. Kids are getting sick and stuff, so need them healthy the next coming weeks. I look at, you know, the, the squad you're putting out there. Is there any doubt you guys can't be at the top of the heap in, in March? Yeah, um, I don't really want to put a goal on it. We try not to focus on it. Last year, I think that was one of our downfalls. It was state champs, state champs, what's Graham doing, what's Graham doing, what's Louisville doing. This year, it's just, uh, you know, we're focusing on ourselves 15 seconds at a time, and we can do that, I think it's possible. You live for the minute of front in front of you, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's what we're focusing on. How much fun are you guys having this year compared to last, would you say? Uh, you know what, it's a lot more loose. Uh, last year, I felt like we were tense a lot of the time. This year, we're having a lot of fun. Uh, one thing as a whole we talked about, we watched – Penn State and Ohio State wrestled last year, and Penn State posted on their Twitter, you guys warm up, we warm up playing block football, and they're relaxed and having fun and playing a game, and I go, that's that's what we got to do here two times, so, and the mindset is just, it's helping out so much, it's crazy. What does Aurora have to do to get back to where, like, 90s Aurora, where they're state champs, like, you guys just keep bringing people in, get some guys move in this year, um, what do you guys got to do to keep building the program to get where you can be a state champ or a runner-up every year, year in and year out under your your you know, tenure. We got to just keep it as a year-round program. We got 80 kids on the youth team and probably 35 on the middle school. When just keep it a year-round program, keep grinding. Uh, we got an amazing club coach, Adam Kabala, does all our freestyle stuff, and he does a phenomenal job with the off-season stuff. And things are rolling right now. We just got to keep it going like that. It starts with the youth, right? Yeah. All right. You got anything else for me? Where are you at next? Uh, we got a try with Nordonia and East Lake North, and then State Pools. Where's the try? Nordonia, you know, uh, community folk, my community focus, Cable Nine. Yeah. They, they kind of like cover it and videotape. It's nice. Cool. They do a good job. All right, all right, Co Coach. You got anything else to me? That's it. All right, go Green Men. Thanks. Thank I, I, I've learned something new, and if I, you should know this of all people, they are the Lady Green Men. Your your basketball and and, and women's team. Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Yes. That blew my mind when I found that out. I want you to know that. Yeah, the Lady Greenman, and uh, I think, I may be wrong, but I'm 90% sure, we have the best 
girl high school basketball player in the state. That's right. I've heard that too. Sellers. Her dad is the guy who yeah. made the assist to Jordan. Yes, exactly. So she's a beast. Yes. So yeah. Lady Greenman. I just I just had to throw Green. that out there because yeah. you're the Aurora Greenman, but yeah. the Lady Greenman. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys. Awesome. Thank you.